is Dr. Guy, and I call myself the Genuine Scholar. Why? Because everything I do, I try to do it from the heart. I want to welcome you to another episode of I Won't Sell TV. Today's video is going to be like the first of a few videos I want to do about PhDs. And I think I'm going to call this PhDs You Can Be. Um, because I meet so many people who find out that I'm a PhD or a doctor um, and they come and they're like, how did you get your degree? Um, some of them realize I'm, I'm very young, I guess, in the age of PhD. And they're like, how did you finish your degree? And, you know, what did it take? And so a lot of people don't understand the process. And I realize that a lot of people don't pursue PhDs, not because they're not capable, but a lot of people don't pursue these degrees because they don't have the knowledge about the degrees. And so they hear all these different myths about degrees. And so it keeps them from wanting to pursue these degrees um, because Truthfully, I have learned that a lot of people who have PhDs, we create this uh, we create this thought that you know only a few people can achieve this degree, and I, that's I don't come from that school of thought. I, I believe most people can achieve it, and I'm gonna make a video that's called that's called if you have the ability to learn, you have the ability to earn, because it's not a degree about how smart you are. Um, honestly, it's about persistence and it's about utilizing the proper resources to make it through these degrees. And so what I want to do today is kind of debunk a few myths when it comes to these PhDs. And I want to just challenge some people um, who have PhDs and or who wants to pursue PhDs for the what I feel is the wrong reason. And so the first thing is that a PhD is not any better than any other degree. And because I know a lot of people, they look at this PhD, oh God, he got best degree, you know, in that hierarchy. And that's an, that's a, not even American, that's just a hierarchy that was created by society. And so yes, you know, on the hierarchy that society created, you have your no degrees, then you got your associates, your bachelor, your master's, and then your PhDs or your doctorate degrees, professional degrees up top. And that's a hierarchy that's created. But in my opinion, I don't believe a PhD is any better than any other degree. Reason being is because I see people with master's degrees, people with bachelor degrees, and people with no degrees who are more successful than people with PhDs. And so the degree itself doesn't make you better than anybody else. It'll never make you better than anybody else. But I feel like what we should be judged on is how we take the knowledge that we learn regardless of what level we are and how we apply it to life. That's what's important because People should pursue PhDs only if they want to research and further what's going on in this world or if you need a PhD to get a certain position that you want. Um, but it's not, and this is the second myth, is you shouldn't pursue a PhD for the title because a lot of people seek this doctor title. Uh, they want to be called doctor. I get so many people who tell me, you know, I want to get this PhD. People going to call me doctor. And, and that's the biggest turn off to me is if anybody comes up and says that they want to pursue this degree to be called doctor. And yes, there are individuals who have these degrees that you better call them doctor, I'm um, doctor this, I'm um, doctor that. And I don't believe that was the reason that these degrees were created. Um, I believe these degrees were created, as I said, to further research to help the cause of humanity because what we do is research something and then we create a solution for that problem. And so it's not created for you to put yourself on a pedestal, but a lot of people put themselves on a pedestal when it comes to these degrees. And so let me debunk another myth is PhDs are no smarter than any other person. Now, they may be more knowledgeable in a specific subject than somebody, but they're not any smarter than anybody else. There are people who would kill me in math that I couldn't even, honestly, there are people who have no degrees that can kill me from a grammatical standpoint. Like I make grammar, grammatical errors, I say words out of context, and they have better diction than I do. But so I'm not any smarter than anybody else. Now, when it comes to college students, when it comes to rural students, that's what I research. You know what? I can probably hang with the, with the best of them because I research that. But I'm not any smarter than anybody else. But I see all these people, or uh, some people, running around with these degrees who try to be smarter than everybody and everything and they just put themselves on this pedestal like I'm better than you get on my level and that's just crazy that's not what these degrees are for um so if you're thinking about pursuing a degree and if it's for the purposes of being called doctor then I would highly encourage you to reconsider why you're getting these degrees and one of the individuals I can think of who I highly respect and I don't even think a lot of people even know he has a PhD is W.E.B. Du Bois um because a lot of people they call him W.E.B. Du Bois. They never, I don't ever really hear many people, and this is me, maybe you have, but I don't really hear a lot of people saying Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois. But he was the first African-American to get a PhD from Harvard. 
but you don't hear a lot of people say Dr. W.B. Du Bois. They say W.B. Du Bois, and we know he done great work in these um, in the world, and that's how we respect him. It's not because of his doctor title. It's because of the work that he did, and so the thing is, if you're going to pursue these degrees, pursue it, and if you want to be great, don't be great because of the title. Be great because of the work that you do, um, and so I want to just try to change people's mindsets when it comes to these degrees. You know, I encourage you to stop putting people on pedestals with these PhDs because it start going to people's head and then they just start acting differently and they start acting in this just bougie way and that's not what it's about you know um and, and so the thing is if you get a phd use it for encouragement when i um the only people i require to call me doctor are students and the only i work at an hbcu and the reason i ask them to call me doctor is because i want them to see that it's possible for a person that looks like them to have a phd hence the reason i want them to say doctor such and such because i want them to know that black people have phds um and so that's the only group of individuals if, if you are around me and we are out at a social event do not call me doctor anything i do not want you to call me doctor anything my name is corey if i'm at um, the school I work, you can call me doctor, whatever. But outside of that, I'm Corey, okay? Because I was Corey before PhD. The problem is people don't allow the PhD to be a facet of who they are, or a small part of who they are. They allow it to become who they are. And the PhD is not who you are. It's just a small part of who you are. So um, the today's video is just saying, you know, if you do choose to, to pursue these degrees or if you have this degree, rethink why you know, if it's for the purposes of having a higher status in society, because it's not for that. Um, it's to actually help society more by doing research um, and, and, and putting out works that can help others. And so hopefully this video helped you. I'm um, coming back with more to help uh, people who want to pursue these degrees. We're going to talk about this because we're going to expose you to, you know, how to make these degrees happen, because I don't want these degrees to be about being exclusive. I want it to be about, you know, us up in the number of people who have these degrees. And if I can help, I'm going to work to help make that happen. So God God bless all of y'all. Um, I'll be making more videos, so have a good one.